Hello friends, I am Satya Gopinath Das. The fortnight of 15 days that begins from September 10 is called Pitru Paksha. This is a very important aspect of our Indian culture. In today's video, I will share the importance of these 15 days and will tell you what you can do practically too. The meaning of Pitri, Pitri stands for ancestors and Paksha means 15 days. Let us know who our forefathers or ancestors are. Any immediate family members who have died are your ancestors such as your grandparents and their parents. Post death either they will be in waiting period for the next body or they will be reimbursing their karma. In these 15 days there are some special pilgrimage sites for example like the Holy Tirtha in Gaya in Bihar where people go and worship for their ancestors. Generally kheer sweet rice or lapsi uh, that sweet made of wheat is offered at that time. Okay, now I am going to tell you an interesting thing. For centuries, the Indian populace followed this custom very well. When the British came to rule, some homegrown scholars started saying that all this is blind belief. It's simply time pass. One fellow even goes to say that if I pour water in the courtyard of my house, how will that water reach my farm? Simply by taking a dip in the holy river and offering their water oblation, how will it reach my ancestors who are far, far away? And this argument was bought by majority in Bharatiya people and they stopped this ritual. Listen to our logic now. First, have you ever transferred money from your mobile phone? Yes, yes, you have done UPI, Google Pay. If such a technology is possible for human beings, then it is definitely possible for more powerful beings than the humans. Second argument, if the ancestors were not really worshipped, Arjuna would not have been in the crisis mode before listening to the Bhagavad Gita. After the war, there will be no offerings to the Pitris and family tradition will be lost and thereby bringing destruction of society at large. Therefore, we see in the Ramayana and Mahabharata that the great personalities like Lord Ramachandra, Maharaj Yudhishthir, Maharaj Parikshit never fail to honor their ancestors. Now coming to the practical reason why this ritual should be followed for your own good dear friends. Have you ever seen that some people encounter Pitra Dosha in their astrological calculations and sometimes their ancestors get trapped in ghost species for not offering of Pindadan. We do not know which of our ancestors is trapped and who's liberated. Hence, this is a beautiful opportunity to save them all. And that is by taking full advantage of these 15 days, worshipping and respecting our ancestors. Now you'll say, bro, how do you do it practically? Also, can you suggest a simple process? So listen, folks, take some black sesame seeds, durva grass and a little water and go to any water body near you an ocean, sea, river, canal and put these things into the water while paying obeisance to your ancestors. Come home and read the shlokas of Bhagavad Gita and do a Srimad Bhagavatam part. Trust me, your forefathers will be so pleased by this kind of worship by you. Please follow this tradition and teach it to the next generation. Should you become a Pitri, at least there will be someone to offer this puja to liberate you. So kindly do yourself this favor. Hope you like this video. Do drop a like and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Thank you.